got to be the so let's Mitchell, <laughs> um, I don't think many people are surprised that you guys are here again. People thought a lot of you came here. When you guys played Tennessee week 10, <coughs> they won the game. Are you a little bit shocked that they're in this position, or did you see something in them that looked like they could maybe get on this kind of roll? No, I mean, obviously we saw a good team. Um, like I said, I mean, I think, you know, most people assumed it was Baltimore, New England, and us kind of going to be there at the end of the year. But, um, you know, they're playing the best football right now. So, um, you know, it would be a big challenge for us. Did you get the sense that Pat gained a little bit more confidence, whether it be injury or otherwise, in the offensive line and being able to step uh, up a little bit later in the season and just kind of rolled that way into the postseason? Um, I mean, yes and no. I think, you know, he's pretty consistent with what he does. So he's always kind of helping us out in that regard. Um, you know, it helps getting, you know, everyone back healthy, both line and, you know, skill <coughs> positions and him. So, uh, you know, pretty much everyone's been hurt in a different spot throughout the, throughout the year. Um, you know, finally got everyone back and got a few weeks together and, um, you know, good things happen. Mitchell, you, you've talked about how you want to be balanced, right? You want to run, you want to roll. But in this game, situation dictated that you had to throw out. I mean, two minutes ago in the first half, you had three carries, one yard. But you were still doing a great job. Andy Reid talked about how great the offensive line was. Why were you able to, when it's pretty much one-dimensional football <coughs> you're playing, still so be so sound uh, against the Texans, a, a good defensive line, a good defensive front? Yeah, we knew that was you know our challenge going into the game. I mean, uh, the guys they have across across the line are really good players, and so um, you know, pretty much across the board. I mean, it's going to be hard for teams to cover our skill guys for you know more than three, four, five seconds, which it is for most teams, but our guys especially. So you know, if we're able to do our job and, and give Pat enough time, um, you know, guys will come open. So uh, that's really always a challenge for us. Um, you know, obviously we you know had, had a good game doing that, and so uh, doing that again this week will be huge. What type of challenge does Landry present? Going up yeah, I mean, uh, you know, he's, he's playing real well for him. Um, you know, he does a good job on the edge. I mean, they got interior guys as well. Um, you know, I think they do a good job also working together. I mean, they got guys that can, you know, beat you individually, and then you add in the games and the twists and the stunts. And, um, you know, some teams, um, maybe they got two really good guys, but they're only good at just beating guys one on one. And so you can scheme up a little help, or um, maybe the team's not as good individually, but they're better with, with games. But these guys are able to do both. And so, um, you know, it's pretty tough from our perspective. You mentioned the injuries. How difficult is it just to not only balance the injuries you've had on the offensive line, but you've had different quarterbacks, different running backs to block for? How does it affect the job that you guys have to do up front? For us, it doesn't really affect it. Um, you know, you block for where the quarterback is supposed to be, you know, on the given play. You block for, you know, where the, the hole is designed for the running back. And then um, from there, you just go. I mean, you don't even always know what running back's in the game. So, um, you know, it's not like you go up there and say, oh, you know, Shady's in, so we're going to block different or um, something like that. Um, you just block for, for kind of what the expectation is for the play, and then you react from there. Mitchell, on ahead of Sunday's game, LDT was saying that the chemistry with Damian Willens has really evolved throughout the season as he's gotten healthier and as his offensive line's gotten healthier. How did you see that chemistry evolve even more on Sunday? Uh, Damian Willens had yet another great game, so how do you see that grow? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's just kind of like we were talking about with, with Pat and the line there's, you know, the, the running back being able to uh, help us out, us help him out. Um, you know, a lot of that happens with the second level guys in terms of, um, you know, if a guy cuts back too early, then we're not able to get to the linebacker, linebacker makes a play. Um, you know, if we're kind of letting the guy get to our edge, you know, maybe that scares the running back out of a hole, forces him to cut back when he should have kept the front side, and that's on us to kind of present a, a cleaner picture. So, um, you know, I think. Like you said, we've done a good job of you know trying to get him to the hole clean, and then you know after that he's done a pretty awesome job of uh, making guys miss and extending plays. How's he been able to be so successful in those parts of the game, and, and how have you seen him grow as a running back throughout this season? Well, I mean he did it last year too, and that's you know why we gave him the extension because he showed the ability to do it. So um, you know I think it's always been there. It's just uh, I mean the running back position it's very kind of up and down, and um, you know obviously when guys get hurt and um, you know, we're just happy he's playing awesome right now. Mitchell, what grade would you give Eric Fisher for his celebration last week? <laughs> um, it was pretty awesome. People seem to like it. Um, I don't think we're allowed to talk too much about that subject matter. So, <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, can you take a game like last week and make it help you guys for this game? You know, coming back, not that you feel invincible, but you feel like you can overcome a lot in a high-pressure situation. And now it gets even more pressure. So can that help you with this one? Um, I'd say not really, because if we didn't already believe that, we wouldn't have been able to come back. And so, if anything, it could be counterproductive where you just think too highly and, and 
you know, you don't necessarily work quite as hard throughout the week as, oh, we got this. If, it, you know, if something happens, we'll be okay. But, um, you know, I think, you know, we didn't prove anything to ourselves last week. You know, I think we always had that belief. And so, um, you know, just because it kind of gets the external view, that doesn't really change, you know, what we already know. In what specific, oh, way, in what specific ways have you guys benefited from Andy's experience in the game like this? <coughs> Yeah, I mean, it's huge. He's, he's kind of been there and pretty much done it all. And so, um, you know, having him on the sideline and, uh, you know, people have asked, you know, what was said, you know, during the first quarter, what's going on over there. And to me, the biggest thing was nothing really out of the ordinary. You know, he didn't um, throw a fit. No one was going crazy. We just, um, you know, just keep going, keep plugging. I mean, we know that, you know, we're good enough and we're playing well to, um, well, not necessarily put up that many points every time, but, you know, we're, we're pretty good when we're playing well. And so, like, just gets back to the trust issue and, um, you know, being able to have trust in a head coach to keep believing in us, keep calling the plays that, um, you know, I mean, we had guys open the whole uh, first quarter. We just weren't uh, executing. And so, um, you know, he just kept giving us the awesome play calls. And obviously, uh, you know, he's the best at that. Great. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Smith. Thank you.